The hashtag, the home that Augie built, it, I mean, it means a lot to me because my wife created a hashtag. I'm not an Instagrammer. It's something I can actually look back on and be, you know, be proud of because it is a home I built. I'm, whether people love it or think, you know, hate it, or it doesn't really matter. I know we love it, and uh, that's that's all that really matters. The idea started when Angela and I moved to North Carolina from New York City. Our plan originally was just to be closer to her father, and then uh, we figured we'd build a house after living in an apartment for a while. And we were looking for maybe something we could renovate quickly in a year, move into that and live there for a bit until we moved into a new house, our more dream home, if you will. We were just beginning to plant the seed of the possibility of leaving our fabulous apartment and finding a home. And on Zylo, he found this little bungalow not too far away from where we were living. We went and looked at the property and it was termite ridden and, and pretty sad. But um, when Augustus and I climbed onto its roof and saw its potential skyline, we knew that we needed to build up. And so that's where the process began. And the house at the time was small, which is what we were looking for. Um, little did we know that that was not going to be what was there <laughs> a few years later. It's day one of packing. Yes, the, uh, we plan to be in our home by the end of April. Uh, we're trying to push it as quick as we can. We but may have to be there in 10 days if Asheville Exchange doesn't do the right thing because they allegedly increased our rent by $500, which may mean that we have to leave. Yes, but that would be a, that would be a, a big, you know, a big push a forward. Big stressor. It ended up being a profound blessing. It forced us to move into a construction site, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Emma Haywood, your genius packing skills. Suddenly we had 15 days to move out of this extraordinary apartment into our home. And there was a lot of boxes, a lot of packing, but she's a real problem solver and she whipped us up into shape and got us into that moving truck. So thank you very much, Emma and College Hunks for making that transition possible. I have architectural school drawing experience. I had a lot of summer building of decks, small projects that I just did around the house, electrical, I was always good at like troubleshooting and uh, even taking apart mechanical things and putting them back together. It was all pretty much self-taught, used YouTube, watched videos, a uh, little help from the uh, inspector on the design and just started digging basically, but <laughs> it was a demolition and a total new rebuild. So it was really the entire scope of building start to finish that you can, any one person could go through. All right, it's concrete slab day and we're really excited. What? What? So I had no idea how talented my husband was and I was eager to invite others to help us manifest this incredible home. And Augustus was really certain that he'd be able to do it on his own and he'd save us a lot of money. And he kept reminding me that all the time that I'm spending building into this home is money that we're not spending elsewhere. The amount of money we saved on this project because of my talented husband, his hands building, is really quite remarkable. The products should be installed by a technical guy who are got the certificate or those technical who are assigned by dealers. I think I've always dreamed of being able to build a place that I sort of lived in, like as I build it. And even though I had set plans from the start, a lot of the window placements and even bathroom and bedroom placements changed literally on the fly. But it was for the best. Now, of course, my wife was gracious enough to allow me to take a leave of absence from everyday other work. If you can say I was unemployed and worked on my house, that's true, although I worked harder than uh, I would have probably otherwise, certainly physically. There's nothing in return except at the end, I have a beautiful home to live in with my wife. But other than that, I was a pauper the entire time. <laughs> Some of my favorite memories while building this home um, 
we would pull all-nighters and this was when kind of in the winter it would require a heated mattress topper and I'd have on my wool PJs and it was kind of outdoor. I, I believe we had a roof at that point, but I'm not entirely sure. We never would have necessarily known how beautiful the sunrises could be in that particular space. And that window was really remarkable. The solitude, the time alone to enjoy the work myself on the property, I really enjoyed some of those days. I like working by myself. It's something I feel that I'm actually more productive sometimes. And I really loved the time where I had a friend, Mark, that helped a lot. My father came and uh, helped. His parents, Ma Mother Margaret and Papa Bruno, they would choose to retire to our home. They are most welcome. Um, the, the gift that they gave us of their time and, oh man, I'm incredibly grateful for Mother Margaret and Papa Bruno for what they gave us during that project. And of course with Angela, those moments of working together and teaching Angela, you know, some of the tricks of the trade and getting her to do some of the projects were really enjoyable. I am not a builder, construction, contractor, sheet rocker, not even really a painter, although I've done it here in our new home. Painting the guest bedroom autumnal. We can't wait for you to be our guest to see it yourself. It's wonderful to be able to say that this extraordinary home I'm standing in that I got to contribute a little bit of time and talent and it's nice he was able to point me in the right direction and, and I'm glad to be able to put my fingerprints on the foundation, the home too. Just the experience with my wife to have her go through, like to see this be built before her eyes in a way. I don't think that she would have taken on a task like this without me, even building a house as much as she wanted because she was comfortable the apartment living and I think would have been completely fine with that. But there are experiences that a home brings that you just are not going to get in an apartment. It could be as simple as the front porch where we have breakfast, lunch and dinner every day now. Watch the birds, you know, a bear coming in and taking out our garbage, which sounds like a disaster, but it's kind of an exciting like, oh, our bear visited, you know. <laughs> That's how you build the home. Um, and it's just something I really appreciated. Every time I hear this chime, I think of my sister. When will the home be finished? That is the question that I have been asking for the best two and a half years. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to be in by this Christmas, 2019. Oh yeah, sure, well, we should be done. And... Uh, 2020 Christmas came and went, oh yeah, we should be done. And now we're at 21 and I, we should be done for this Christmas and I think we will be. Just very patient and supportive, which is amazing. It couldn't have been done without my wife's patience and love for the project herself. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> and building the home for ourselves, um, what kept us going uh, when I was at times feeling quite overwhelmed and frustrated by the timeline, the one thing that kept me inspired to keep going was Augustus. His positivity and his kindness and his focus, his commitment. Augustus is truly what kept me inspired to keep going on this build. I don't really ever look at it as like, well, I built this, I'm, you know, this is look how magical I am. It's not like that. I, I just, I like, if other people see that, then great. But for me, it's just more about how to experience it with my wife and bring her joy. And to see her sitting on the porch, well, I'm not even with her and enjoying those moments, that's what's rewarding for me. The original house we purchased was a two bedroom, 750 square foot bungalow. Now it is a three bedroom home 3,800 square feet with five bathrooms. And we call it the Blue Ridge Chalet. One of my favorite things about the master is this master closet created by Jen Stevens of Carolina Closets. Thank you. This is the his, a little bit dedicated for me. This is my bench where I can store my bags. Pretty amazing. This is my sack. And right here is my walk-in. 
what? I can see on my shoes. I can see on my sweaters. It's no lot longer a seasonal closet. So thank you very much, Jen Stevens. You made our closet dreams come true. Augustus, I do think that building, whether homes or not, is in your blood, is in your, your talent set. And so I suspect that you'll go on to build many great things. I just hope that you continue to follow what brings you the most joy. I love watching you do what you love to do. Hell yeah, I would do this again. I would do it again if I needed to, if we, if we wanted to. I may not do it the same way as, as all the physical work um, because that is very difficult. It was a great experience. I, why wouldn't I? I think I would build something again, whether it's another house or not, I don't know. But I'm always gonna build something. That's who I am, it's the way I am. When people step into our home, once it is done, I want them to feel love and loved. We're here! We're here! <laughs> 2021!